The JFK 35 podcast is made possible through generous support from the Blanche and Irving Lorry Foundation. Throughout our history, our soil and water, our forests and minerals have provided the resources upon which this country grew and our power ascended. And now that same planet needs our help to stop the worst of climate disasters. In celebration of the 56th Earth Day, the JFK Library Foundation announced the Earthshot Innovation Challenge Northeast U.S. Edition. The challenge is a six-figure prize to ignite regional innovations to address climate change. Foundation Executive Director Rachel Floor joins us to talk about the prize next on this episode of JFK 35. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Hello, I'm Matt Porter. This April, the United States held its 56th Earth Day celebration. While the holiday wasn't part of President John F. Kennedy's administration, he understood the importance of preserving and protecting the natural resources on Earth. On March 3, 1961, he said the following at the dedication of the National Wildlife Foundation Building in Washington, D.C. Thus, it is our task, in our time and in our generation, to hand down undiminished to those who come after us, as was handed down to us by those who went before, the natural wealth and beauty which is ours. To do this will require constant attention and vigilance, sustained vigor and imagination. In 2022, the JFK Library Foundation and the City of Boston hosted the Earthshot Prize, an initiative funded by Prince William and the Royal Foundation dedicated to finding and funding solutions to repair the planet. The visit coincided with the 60th anniversary of JFK's 1962 original moonshot to put a man on the moon by the end of that decade. The urgency needed to save the planet is ever accelerating, while the time we have to make meaningful changes is ebbing away. But just as President John F. Kennedy had faith that humankind could put a man on the moon, I have the same faith today that we can repair and regenerate our planet in this critical decade. From moonshot to earthshot, the seemingly unsolvable can be solved. Each year, the Earthshot Prize awards the very best climate change innovation projects up to one million pounds to scale up their work. Now, the JFK Library Foundation with its partners are going to offer up to $100,000 to regional projects in the Northeast to do the same. Joining me to talk about the Earthshot Innovation Challenge, Northeast U.S. edition, is JFK Library Foundation Executive Director, Rachel Floor. Rachel, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Matt. So, Rachel, this week uh, was Earth Day. The foundation was celebrating with all other organizations across the world, and uh, the foundation had a major announcement announcing the Earthshot Innovation Challenge, Northeast U.S. edition. That is a prize that will award up to $100,000 to accelerate the development and scale of climate solutions. But before we get into that prize, can you start by familiarizing our listeners with the original Earthshot Prize and how the JFK Library Foundation became involved with that organization? Sure. So the Earthshot Prize was founded by Prince William in 2020, and it was inspired by President Kennedy's moonshot speech at Rice University to find the most innovative game-changing solutions to repair the planet across the globe and to lift them up, to provide funding, to accelerate their growth and scale these solutions um, in order to protect and restore our planet. And the idea is to do this within the decade, the Earthshot decade. So just as President Kennedy's moonshot speech catalyzed a decade of innovation and mobilized some of the greatest advancements in technology and innovation in the 1960s, the Earthshot Prize looks to catalyze that same energy and effort towards uh, the greatest issue of our time, which is repairing the planet. And so with that connection to President Kennedy's moonshot, we reached out to the Earthshot Prize back in 2020 and asked, you know, how can we help? How can we p- be part of this effort? Our goal is 
to connect President Kennedy's legacy and that history to contemporary challenges and help people understand how the lessons of history can be relevant in our times. So this was really a perfect way, a perfect example, actually, of what we try to do every day. And wonderfully, they were, the Earthshot Prize was very excited to have the JFK Library Foundation as a partner. And we joined their global alliance group right in the, from the beginning uh, and have been partnering with them on this prize ever since. And so... This week, the foundation announced the Earthshot Innovation Challenge, the Northeast U.S. edition. Uh, We'll award up to $100,000 in grants to accelerate the development and scale of climate solutions. Uh, Can you tell us more about what type of projects could be funded through these these grants? Sure. So the Global Earthshot Prize uh, funds solutions uh, with a million pounds for each of the Earthshot Prize winners in five areas, five Earthshots. So that's protect and restore nature, clean our air, revive our ocean, build a waste-free world, and fix our climate. And the Earthshot Innovation Challenge will similarly look at those five areas of Earthshot and for solutions that are being developed here in the Northeast region of the U.S., the JFK Library Foundation has been partnering with the Earthshot Prize since 2020. Um, they had a major visit here in 2022. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It was a very exciting part of our partnership, bringing the Earthshot Prize, helping to bring the Earthshot Prize here to Boston. So the Global Earthshot Prize is presented each year in a different country around the globe. And Boston had the honor of hosting the 2022 ceremony. And the JFK Library Foundation was the host partner here on the ground in Boston. And as part of that, we convened a host committee of organizations, people, game changers here on the ground who are doing this work in areas of innovation related to sustainability and repairing the planet on the ground. And we all came together in December of 2022 to to welcome the Earthshot Prize here to Boston, to lift up the stories and the work that's being done in this region, and to celebrate the Earthshot Prize winners in 2022. Since that visit, when Prince William was here and Ambassador Kennedy and her family were here, it seems like there's been a movement to get something done here locally, regionally, regarding this Earthshot Innovation Challenge. How has the Kennedy family and their voice been part of forming this award? So it's always been important to the Earthshot Prize and to the Kennedy Library Foundation and the Kennedy family members who've been part of this to make sure that this would be an ongoing effort here on the ground so that when after the ceremony, when the Earthshot Prize left and, you know, they move on to another global city, the energy and the excitement and the optimism that was created here on the ground by hosting the ceremony and through the you know incredible host committee that joined us in welcoming the ceremony here in Boston that that would continue on that there would be some vehicle through which we could continue to talk about and lift up solutions that are being developed in the region so We worked together with the Earthshot Prize uh, to consider, and the host committee, to consider what that vehicle could be. And where we landed was to have our own innovation challenge, ongoing innovation challenge here in the region that would identify solutions, continue to identify solutions that are being created on the ground in this region and to provide funding and support to those solutions and lift them up with the hope that eventually one of the solutions that we identify with Ursha Ursh- Innovation Challenge could be nominated and ultimately win the global prize. So it's been a really exciting effort. And of course, Ambassador Kennedy and her family have been very supportive of making sure that there's this long-term programmatic effort and partnership with Earthshot Prize and that it wasn't just, you know, a singular event here in the city. 
carrying that message on. And speaking of the message, when President Kennedy issued his original moonshot in 1962, there was obviously very little known about how it was going to happen. President Kennedy just knew that it would take all aspects of groups and partners to make it happen, from government, private industry, the nation's scientific and educational institutions would all have to work together. How does today's Earthshot, um, solving the climate crisis, feel similar to that original task? Well, I think you've said it right there that there's a there's a need for a massive mobilization of resources, of talent, of innovation, of government, of private sector, of the public to get behind solving the the climate crisis and repairing our planet. Ambassador Kennedy likes to say that President Kennedy's moonshot at the time was more of a long shot because he and his advisors actually didn't know at the time how we would get there, but they knew that it would require a massive investment in the American people and in the resources and in mobilizing the resources and the and sparking the innovation and ingenuity of the country to actually create the solutions, create the metals, the alloys, the the technology to get to the moon. And I think today we know that the effort to repair the planet is the existential challenge of our time. It's critical to to our future and to our children's future. And that I think can be very daunting for people, just like the idea of getting to the moon. It feels seemingly impossible. But with the Earthshot Prize, with this innovation challenge, the idea is to lift up the solutions that have already been created to a more sustainable future and to mobilize resources and um, as you said, these different communities and stakeholders that are going to need to come together to solve it. And certainly, you know, there's not going to be one solution that solves the whole problem, but to bring together the best of the best minds of this country and across the globe in addressing the problem and to lift up these solutions so that people can get excited about the possibility of a sustainable future is a really important effort and certainly reminiscent of the original moonshot. Speaking of bringing together, the foundation is not doing this award alone. Uh, do you want to talk briefly about the partners that are collaborating with you for this award? Absolutely. As I mentioned, when the Earthshot Prize came in 2022, we had a wonderful host committee of people who care very deeply about this issue and wanted to be part of bringing the the Earthshot Prize to Boston. And it was this group, and particularly the leadership of this group, our co-chairs, Sandy and Paul Edgerly, who immediately asked, how can we continue this effort and how can we <clears throat> ensure that the partnership with the Earthshot Prize continues on and the impact continues on here in this region. And so it, it has been with Sandy and Paul Edgerly and their Quinn Impact Fund that we piloted an innovation challenge last year and took the learnings from that initial effort to create this um, and launch the Earthshot Innovation Challenge this year. So we're very excited to have their support and the work of the Quinn Impact Fund and the support of the Quinn Impact Fund leading this effort with us and the Earthshot Prize. And also our Earthshot Legacy Partners, people who have come on board to support this work and this ongoing partnership with the Earthshot Prize so that there would will be this continued legacy of the program and the initiative in the region. That's quite the group and definitely putting this award on the fast track to being something big for the area. Another question is we all need to, I think, understand that we need to change how we're thinking about climate change to up the urgency. And how do you think this award is an important development in how we approach climate change and its effects? One of the things that I love about the Global Earthshot Prize is its commitment to creating urgent optimism. And by lifting up these solutions around the globe and the incredibly innovative 
and exciting efforts and initiatives that are happening all around this planet to support the work of of creating a sustainable future for us. It brings a sense of optimism to the work that I think is often missing in conversations around climate change and around the environment. And President Kennedy certainly knew and, and instinctively that having a vision that was exciting and challenging and brought out the best in our country and in the world is a big part of achieving any kind of audacious goal and certainly achieving a moonshot. And I think that that's the kind of spirit that we need to tackle this problem. And if people, particularly young people, feel that the situation is too dire and too far gone to address, I think we'll easily find ourselves in a situation where the people who we need to be mobilized and excited about solving these issues aren't coming to the table. And we certainly need the best in this country and the world. And so creating that urgent optimism and bringing that moonshot spirit to the challenge of repairing our planet, I think is is a brilliant idea. And hopefully this Earthshot Innovation Challenge will lift up that same sentiment and contribute to the ur urgent optimism here in this region that the global prize is looking to create around the world. And speaking of the moonshot, the Innovation Challenge Awards will be presented on the anniversary, the 62nd anniversary of JFK's moonshot speech this September. Uh, what do you hope people will take away from that first ceremony? I hope that people leave the first Earthshot Innovation Challenge ceremony feeling optimistic and excited about the solutions that we've found just here in this region and the possibility of the very real possibility of a sustainable future. And that's what I've seen by just being part of the Earthshot Prize over the last few years, that there's incredible work happening here in our own backyard and across the globe, and that there's some of the best minds working on this challenge. And hopefully the ceremony will give people a little glimpse into a hopeful future that is a sustainable future for all. Well, thank you so much, Rachel. Information about the Innovation Challenge, including applications right now, which are open, are on the JFK Library Foundation's website. Uh, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matt, for having me. Thank you for listening to our episode today. If you're interested in more information about the JFK Library Foundation's work with the Earthshot Prize, you can visit our podcast page to learn more. If you have questions or story ideas, email us at jfk35pod at jfklfoundation.org or tweet at us at jfklibrary using the hashtag jfk35. If you liked what you heard today, please consider subscribing to our podcast or leaving us a review wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Thank you.